Hello everyone, uh, welcome and uh, thank you again for joining my YouTube channel. My name is Olu Adeni and in this video I want to touch on something uh, very unique, very interesting. Um, one of the most uh, uh, celebrated headache of a postgraduate student. Uh, and I'm not saying this because of um, the fact that it's not a doable or achievable task. I'm saying this because I know um, that most postgraduate students struggle with this. I basically refer to it as, as the academic monster of research. And I'm talking about the literature review. Hmm. The literature review, yes, you heard me right, the literature review. Now, the literature review has always been a thorn in the flesh of an average or postgrad students um, all over. But something very interesting that I want to bring to your attention today with respect to literature review. And the first thing I will say is that when it comes to literature review, think of it this way. You are basically writing a new story from old information. You are writing a new story from old information. You are basically coming up with a narrative on the basis of what all the previous stories have said. Now, in as much as it's a very simple, easily understandable definition, this task comes with a lot of strategy and critical thinking. And I think that's the, one of the reasons why literature review has become um, what it is, you know, a scary thing that um, postgrad students, um, you know, are always afraid of. There are four things that you will always do when it comes to literature review. And before I mention those four things, let me just remind you that there is no section of your thesis, of your proposal, that you are not going to be doing literature review. Everything that comes in written form in your draft must be after you have reviewed literature. So literature review does not necessarily symbolize or represent just one chapter, for instance, of your thesis. No, it cuts across all the chapters because there will be literature review done in developing your chapter one. There will be literature review done in developing your chapter two. When you're discussing your theoretical framework, maybe in another chapter, for example, you must do literature review. When you are dealing with your research methodology chapter, you must do literature review. In your results, for instance, okay, there will be a little bit of literature review here and there, but in your discussion, you want to corroborate some of your findings with uh, literature. So literature review cuts across all the sections of your thesis, of your proposal as applicable. All right, so let me go to the four things that you will always have to do when it comes to literature review. Number one, you will have to search for the information. Now, imagine looking for a needle in a haystack. That's why literature review is always problematic. You're looking for something specific, but not something exact. And I will explain what I mean by that now. Specific because your research area of interest has already been defined. So that is specific. Exact because you are not looking for literature that deals exactly with your research or your topic. If you find that, then you know that you are reinventing the wheel. So yes, you are looking for something specific, but not something exact. And that's one of the mindsets that I want you to have when you go search for literature. So looking for literature means that, number one, you're looking for a needle in a haystack. There's a specific needle you are looking for, but not necessarily the exact needle. The specificity has already been defined by your topic. The exactness now, okay, is your topic itself. If you find literature on your topic itself, not in another dimension, but exactly what you want to do, then you just stop and know that you have to go back to the drawing board. So I'm just explaining the searching part now. Now the searching part comes with skills. And I'm going to be doing YouTube video channel uh, live on searching skill where I will explain to you how you can explore databases. Because in literature review, remember this, 
Olu said, Google is not a database. It is a search engine. You cannot depend on a, a, a search engine like Google for your scholarly routine resources. Google Scholar, yes. Google, no. Right, so let's move on. So after searching, of course, you want to sort out what you have searched for. And once you are done with sorting them out, you want to read what you have searched for. And that's the third step. Reading what you have searched for after sorting them carefully because you have to be organized. Then the last part is writing based on what you have read. So literature review goes with four things. Number one, you have to search. Number two, you have to sort out what you have searched for. Number three, you have to read what you have sorted out. And number four, you have to write a narrative from what you have read. So looking at these four things or these four stages of literature review, it, it helps you to appreciate why literature review is very important. Okay? But remember when I was describing or defining what literature review is that you're basically looking for old information. Or you're writing a new story from old information. Now the point is that this, the information, even though it is old, has to be relevant. Has to be related to your research area of interest. That's one very important thing that goes with literature review. And when you remember this, because it is not everything and anything that you have read that is going to be useful for your literature review. No. You must be able to cherry pick information to see what is going to give strength, validity, support to your research area of interest. So you're looking carefully through the available scholarly resources to determine what is most appropriate, what is most useful for my study. And that's what literature review does. Again, remember I have told you, literature review helps you to configure your thesis chapter or even your research proposal. The almost very famous definition of literature review is that it also helps you to identify the research gaps. So, for instance, if you are developing your research topic, literature review is one of the things you have to do. Because in developing your research topic, you are essentially looking for research gap in other previous studies for you to be able to come up with what? A researchable topic. Why are you doing that? Because you are looking at the limitations of previous studies to see what are the previous studies done and what have they not been able to do. What they have not been able to do becomes your entry point in terms of developing your research topic. So literature review is all encompassing. It helps you to know the appropriate data analysis tool that you can use and see its applicability in other previous studies. So the things I will be dealing with in other subsequent videos still under literature review is I will be showing you via YouTube how to search for scholarly resources. And of course, using one of my most preferred and favorite tool, keywords. How to explore the existing databases and maximize them to your own benefit as a postgrad student. That's on the searching level. On the reading level, I'll be exposing you to the reading strategy, academic reading strategy that will help you to isolate information and and consider them where they are most appropriate. That's another thing that I will be doing with you. And under the reading also, I will help you to see the different approaches that you can go in doing your literature review. For instance, the concept-centric approach, the author-centric approach. And I will take time to explain why each of these approach is what it is. And of course, talking about the writing stage of literature review, after reading, I will explain all of the different layout of a literature review, how you generate your headings and subheadings, the rules of the paragraph, how you come up with your story such that your story is coordinated, is coherent, is logical, 
and it satisfies all of the rules of academic uh, rules and regulations. These are all the things that I'll be explaining to you in literature review. But in this video, all I have done is to let you see why literature review is very important and to also help you to understand the four most important activities you will always do when it comes to literature. You must be able to search properly. You must be able to sort out what you have searched for. You must be able to read academically and of course write academically. So literature review is very unique. It forms the backbone of any research. There is no research that is conducted out of hearsay or gut feeling or instinct. No. Every research has got its roots in literature. In the next video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step procedure of how to explore the various databases to your own advantage as a postgrad student. Thank you so very much. Remember to subscribe to this channel, follow me on my Twitter handle, and I will be meeting you in other subsequent videos.